Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a Value Dollar haul. Value Dollar is an amazing dollar store um, that we have here in the Houston area. Uh, Value Dollar has three locations. They have the one that I shopped at today which is on Lyons Avenue. They have one on Telephone Road and then they have one out in Deer Park that is on Center Street. So, if you're not familiar with Value Dollar, um, they sell all their merchandise for $1.25 unless it's otherwise marked. Um, they just have just incredible deals on name brand products. And what I have here for you is a lot of really cool merchandise that I want to share with y'all. I was so excited to get to go... Um, go look and see what they had. I've been to the one out on Telephone Road and they um, have some really cool stuff too. Um, in fact, I will link the um, the haul that I did for the store on Telephone Road up in the car. I'll, I'll put it in the cards for y'all. So y'all can go check that haul out too. And one thing about these um, about Value Dollar is they have so much merchandise that it's not like Dollar Tree like here today, gone tomorrow. They actually have so much product that it will be there for a while. So that if you find something you like and you go back next week, they're still going to have that product because they have so much quantity. Um, that's what I really like about it. Um, but let's just jump right off into this haul and see what I found. Um, let's see. Well, first start with the kid stuff. I found a couple of kid items that I thought were really cool um, and I did go like I was really curious to see if I were to purchase these items at like Walmart or Target or Amazon how much would I have paid for these actual items that I paid a dollar twenty five for so some of them I did find online and I um, wrote down the price for oh yes okay so there's this this little uh, kids cup it's a Disney the first years it's uh, Nemo, Finding Nemo. This cup sells for $4.98 and I paid $1.25 for it. That is an amazing um, price. This is one of those um, cups that doesn't have the spout so the kids can drink anywhere along the rim. And um, it's got the 360 rim on it. So spill proof, drink anywhere on the rim. So cool, awesome, awesome, fine. Next, I found these super cute storybooks. This one is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I just love that little girl and all the glitter. Isn't that cute? These books are such good quality. These retailed for $4.99 originally. They're so cute and the illustrations are so sweet. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute. Look how sweet those are. Anyway, so I picked that up. It's kind of a um, thick book, but it's like squashy. So it's like padded. These are such cute books. The graphics are just super cute. Not graphics, but illustrations, I guess. Super cute. So, they had uh, several of these uh, different ones, but this is the one I picked. I love that little glitter chair. Too cute. Um, these, oh yeah, $4.99. Picked it up for $1.25. The next thing I picked up is this. Isn't this too cute? This goes on the uh, bicycle handlebar. This is by the company of Schwinn. This is Schwinn Friends. It's a monkey bag. And it attaches to the little handlebars. And they can put their stuff in here. How cute. And just pack all their little stuff around. I figure I couldn't find this online. It said it was sold out, but I figure this is probably ten to twelve dollars if you were to buy this at per se like a Walmart or Target. It's so cute. He's even got a little monkey tail. Too cute. Too cute. 
So I picked that up. That's all the kid, the the young kid items that I found. I did pick up some Alpo uh, T bones. Alpo is uh, cooked with pride in the USA, which is a must if you're going to be buying dog treats. You want to make sure that they are, you know, a USA product so that they're safe for our fur babies. And I picked that up. These probably sell for around. I would say two dollars and I got it for a dollar seven a dollar twenty five so my puppies will enjoy that for sure next I'll show y'all the the like beauty products that I picked up I picked up this Dove uh, beauty moisture this is a um, facial cleanser it's a conditioning cleanser the other one that we've been using is uh, the Charco one, but I wanted to try this one with the conditioning for like, to help with dry skin. So this, um, when I looked it up online, was $4, around about $4. Um, it says, uh, contains Nutrium Moisture Moisturizing Beauty Serum natural white floral fragrance it's got a real light scent to it so I thought this would be good let's pick that up the next I picked up this Garnier uh, Fruities matte gum this is for like if you want that beach hair um, look this retails for like around $4.82 at Walmart. This is a texturizing gum, matte effect, and beach look. Oh, Y'all can see that. This is what it looks like. It doesn't really have a scent. So I was looking forward to, to using that. I've never used this is says fruity style surf hair for a just off the beach effect so I think that should be cool next I picked up this Tony and Guy cleanse shampoo for normal hair this is a name brand product this retailed for about five dollars when I looked it up online Shampoo for normal hair gently cleanses and restores natural softness and shine. So we decided to find that one. Next, I picked up this Axe Dark Temptation. And this is a body wash. I figured this is this is a little bit smaller um, container of it. it. I couldn't find where it says I was. Uh, 250 ml. I didn't look that up, but I figured this is probably about three or four dollars if you were to buy this. And of course, it was a dollar twenty-five. And this one smells so good. They had so many different ones of these, different scents, but this is the one I chose. Um, so that is a really cool buy. Axe is not cheap if you get it at the store. Um, the next product I got was a Glidden. Uh, no show cushion socks. You get six pair for a dollar twenty-five. These retail for seven dollars ninety-seven cents. These are irregular. I don't know what makes them irregular, but I thought we could open them up and take a look and see what what they look like. They had different. Um, different brands but like all good brands I did um, I don't know they don't feel no kind of way I don't know maybe I'll wear them and then next time I go to value dollar I'll do a um, a review on these and see how they fit but for a dollar 25 and you get six pair 
you'd pay eight dollars if you got these at Walmart. So I thought that was pretty cool. I can always use more socks. Next, I got some crafty stuff in a roundabout way crafty. So we had to think outside the box on this. So I found this mug tree. Wire mug tree. So it does hold mugs. Absolutely. It can hold six mugs, but that's not what I was wanting to use it for. So, what I was thinking, and I don't know if y'all like to do planners or not, but I have all these really cool little, like, keychain that I like to hang on my, um, my journals. I mean, you know, well, it could be a journal, but for my, um, my happy planner, how cute would they be? hanging from this little rack right here. I'll put everything on the same one. Okay, I have more. I just got out a few so y'all could get the gist of what I'm, I'm thinking. How cute is this? Hold on. I got these backwards. Because the ones on the bottom are a little bit closer to the ground so they need to be short ones. How stinking cute is that? And then you can just have it sitting here on your desk and then you can change them out every week. I just love it. So that's what I got this for. Although it is a mug rack, but sometimes we have to think outside the box. Next, I got this really pretty printed muslin. This is five yards, five inches. This is a lot of product, guys. Look at that. It's really vibrant colors, and you just get so much. I love it. You can make bows out of this. You could use it to wrap packages, like Let's see, I think that, oh yeah, that's what they showed on here. They show it wrapped around a present. So super cute. I love it. They had this hot pink, which is the one I chose because I love pink. But they also had a uh, dark blue. So if you were to buy this at Hobby Lobby, you'd probably pay $5 for it. I bet. This is a lot of product. So super cute. And then the next craft thing that I got were these sponge grinding blocks so if you're doing a lot of crafts maybe you like to uh, distress the, the things that you're using so I was thinking why can't we use these little neat little blocks they're really rough I don't know what grit that is or if it even has a grit but I wanted to try it out with y'all. So I put some stickers on this little notepad and I wanted to see what it would be like if we distressed them. I know you can tell the difference. It did knock off the top layer or what if we Oh man, my marker ran out. So sometimes we go around the outside of our paper with like a Sharpie. And then you get to come back and distress that. Kind of take the... Take it down a little bit. So yeah, I think these would be really good for that distressing. These little blocks. And you get three of them for $1.25. You could even cut them in half if you needed to. Or cut them in threes so you can there so that they're a little bit more manageable. So super cool. And um, this shows, I guess, that you can use them to for your um 
Oh, my nose itches. All right, so it says uh, knife tools, wash the board like uh, washing a um, cutting board, stainless steel pots, or hot water bottles. They're on the bottom. Those are some ideas of usage for them, but I was thinking these for my craft room for doing my planners, distressing layouts and stuff. So that's what I picked it up for. Next, I have some cleaning products. So I picked up this, this uh, free and clear soap. This stuff is amazing. This is a repurchase for me. Um, if It compares to Tide, but the Tide, if you buy this in Tide, it was $7.49. I paid $1.25. This is 32 loads. You get 32 loads. Free and clear, so this is good if you have um, like an allergy to uh, any kind of perfumes that may be in soaps. So I really like this. This is a store brand. Um, this is distributed out of Landover. And I just thought it was a good, it, I, I know it's good because I've used it before. It's really, really good. I'm going to say, and it's also for high, high energy. Um, high energy? Oh, what am I trying to say? For H-E. So. There you go. Good product. Good, 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 good product. Next, I picked up some Pledge. This is for your wood. This is in the scent Lavender. I didn't know they made scented uh, Pledge. I looked it up. It would be about $4.23 if you purchased this at Walmart. And, of course, I paid $1.25. So, awesome. Awesome product. Next, I got some soap. This is pure and natural, hypoallergenic, paraben free, 94% natural origin. This is cherry blossom and almond. This is 8.5 ounces. So I really liked that. This is our soap is biodegradable, not tested on animals, and 100% re recyclable packaging. This is uh, a product of, of um, yeah, pure and natural. I'm sorry. Here's the back. And this is really does smell amazing. Yes, it smells very good. Very kind of light scent, but good scent. Next, I picked up some Pine Saw uh, latex gloves. These run for about $2 at Walmart, and I got them for $1.25. Next, I picked up this really cool... A measuring spoon. This is a dash four in one measuring spoon. It is by the company Umbra. Uh, Umbra. Umbra. I don't know. It was online, sold for eight dollars. And I have some other products that are by this company that that sold at Sears. So I don't know if this is a Sears product line or what, but. I just thought this was really, really nice. It's got the half, half a teaspoon, one tablespoon, one teaspoon, and a fourth a teaspoon. And my kitchen is a uh, lime green and uh, sunflowers, John Deere tractors. So I really thought this was cute. I liked that. And for a dollar twenty-five. For eight dollar name brand product, yes, please. Yes, please. Next, I picked up some downy. Um, this is in the fragrance romance. This is a 25 ounce uh, product, 750 mLs. This I figure would be probably about 250 if you bought this at your local Walmart. They had a whole wall full of all different um, scents um, of downy. 
And they had other ones too, but I'm I'm more drawn to Downy. They had the Suavitel. Uh, I think I smelled all of them. I love the smell of Downy. I love to smell my clothes when they've been washed in Downy. And so this is what I picked up. This was a really good purchase. I liked that. Next, I picked up this huge bottle of Clorox cleaner. This is in the uh, like a fruit scent. It's 30 ounces of product or 900 ml. And this smells so good. It does smell like fruit. It smells great. And that is a lot of product. This is multi purpose liquid cleaner so I like to put this in my mop water and mop my house it makes the whole house really smell good so I picked up that and then oh here's one I didn't show you look at him he's so cute that is so stinking cute. I just love it. This is a 15 ounce embossed clear glass soap dispenser. It is by Circleware. These were about $10 online on Amazon. Here it is. That's where it's. Let me make sure. Oh, I guess I got it upside down. Imported by Circle, Circle Glass LLC, New York, New York. So I just thought that was so cute. This would be cute for the winter time. Well, it'd be cute for now too. I'll probably put it in my kitchen. Um, just super cute. I was excited to find that. Next is this. This is so cool. Wait till y'all see it. Um, wait until you see it. So I had to dig because they had, they had this one that I'm going to show you and then they had like a dark wood and a light wood. And I picked the blue one because I just love it. Look at that. It's like farm, distressed, so much fun. What it is, is, let's see if I can put it together for y'all. Oh my. Okay. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. I'm getting it, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Good gravy. I know it goes together because I put it in together in the store. Well, I'm just having hell. Maybe I'm putting it together. Oh no, there it goes. So it's like this. I may not have put it together just right. I feel like the one in the store laid flatter. So it's like that. So you can either it can hold magazines. I don't know if you can see it real good or not. It can hold magazines. And my books. How cute is that? Or, I was thinking, take this mess off. It could sit beside the couch and hold our throws just a little throw anyway those were my ideas I think I like the the it holding the books better but isn't that too cute oh I do have it backwards that's why it's not laying right I'm sorry guys no how does it go maybe not Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, well, anyway, y'all get the picture. I'm going to have to work on that. 
and see if I can't get it to do right. Anyway, that, I think that's my favorite find. Last but not least, I have food. So, they had so many amazing food products, but I withheld, I showed a little restraint, and I just got a little bit, but I wanted to taste test them with y'all. So, first off, I got this Coney Island Classic Jalapeno Poppers Kettle Corn with Himalayan, with Himalayan Salt. How awesome is that? So, I went online to look these up. And if you order these bags directly from Coney Island, you get 12 of these bags, which is an 8-ounce bag. 12 of these for $46.95, which makes them about $4 a bag. I bought these for $1.25. How awesome is that? And it is like legit. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it is distributed by Coney Island. That's so cool. So let's taste it. I'm gonna open it. I've been wanting to eat these since I bought them. But I didn't. I waited for you guys so we could do it together. Oh, you can smell the jalapenos. Like the good. Oh, yeah, you can taste it. It's sweet. On the back side is the heat. Oh my goodness, this could be addicting. And it is really hot. These products are gluten free. Oh man, I could eat the whole bag. Those are so good. Okay, next I gotta show y'all this because I gotta have a drink. So, they had these. Mountain Dew Ice, four packs. I have the other one right here. Four packs for $1.25. These, if you bought, went into the convenience store, one of them would not be $1.25, and you can get four of them for $1.25. So, they had Mountain Dew, this Mountain Dew Ice. They had Mist, and they had the Blue Big... Big red. That's what you call it. Blue big red. So, oh, I put this in the fridge so it would get nice and cold so we could, well, not we, but me, could taste test it and tell y'all what it tastes like. Well, let me see. Hmm. It's good, but I'm real particular about that, that like sweet and low, or I don't even know what you call it because I don't drink it. I don't know if this has that, like, I don't see, okay, so maybe it doesn't. It's really good. It's, it's, um, uh, with a splash of real juice, so that's good, and for four, and for $1.25, that makes these, like, 35 cents each. You can't beat that at all. Next. Man, that popcorn is really good, guys. Next, I got this Pop Will Half Popcorn Chipotle Barbecue. How cool is that? I've never heard of this before. So, we must taste and check it out. I've never heard of half pop popcorn. Not too hard and not too soft. Wow, it's definitely interesting, guys. Let's see. I don't know if y'all can see that very well or not. Let me see. Isn't that funny? 
This is Chipotle barbecue made with 100% made with 100% whole grain, non-GMO. This is a 6 ounce bag and this is really different. Wow. It almost has a crunch of a chip. I'm not, not, no kidding. We, we're about to get popular. Popular. Introducing Popwell partially popped corn kernels. Half popped, made with simple ingredients. It's the perfect amount of crunch and joy, a pop of goodness. Wow. Yeah, that is, that has got like the crunch of a chip. Like if you didn't want to eat chips, that is like a good crunch. And I could not, I found these online, but I could not find the price. But I bet this would be about $3, $4 if you bought it. Like at Walmart or something. Next, these. These are amazing. I ate me one on the way home. Um from a value dollar. These are like legit $3.99 at the store. No exaggeration. Same exact products that they sell in at Walmart, CVS, blah, blah, blah. And you get these for $1.25. So, don't mind if I do. And these are so good, guys. They're the little, little ones. And they are delicious. So, if you see them, grab them. Oh, and they also had um, the truffles. It's like sea salt and chocolate. Oh, I thought I grabbed one, but when I got to the car to get them out, I didn't grab one. But I wanted them so bad. And then last but not least, let me look. Last but not least, I picked up this Starbucks Autumn Coffee Topper. Guys, this is going to be so delicious. I don't drink coffee, but I'm thinking like hot chocolate. This is so cool. It is almost like, well, you can taste, I just spilled crap everywhere. It's apple, hibiscus, pumpkin, purple carrot is the different flavors, I guess. Maybe I'm not saying that right. But guys, this is almost like um, like sea salt in a grinder that you would use. This is so cool. Like, for real, for real. You can taste those other flavors. Seven ounces. This will definitely be on my coffee bar for the winter time. And it's going to be so delicious. I can't wait. So, anyway, guys. That is my haul, y'all. That is all I have. Um, Man, if you live in the Houston area, go check out Value Dollar. They have an amazing array of products, name brand, that you can get for $1.25. And what I liked about that store is they had the items that, like, they had some of the Raid um, Roach Spray. And they had a big old sign on it that says $1.99, so you're not going to get up to that cash register and the prices has changed because you didn't realize that what you picked up was a dollar ninety nine instead of a dollar twenty five. They had their products just plainly, clearly marked the ones that were not a dollar twenty five. So there's no guesswork. And they had two packs of uh, hand soap. I don't remember what brand they were. Clearly marked dollar ninety nine or dollar. 49 whatever they were um anyway it's a clean store and the staff 
was super friendly and sweet. I talked to some of the customers when I were in there. They stopped me to ask me questions about this and that. Um, and so it was really a nice experience. Um, so that's it, y'all. That's all I have. I appreciate y'all stopping by to watch my video and let me and letting me show you what I found at the Value Dollar. Um, man, I just can't say enough about the products that I got. I'm so happy with everything I got. This little stand is probably my. I just it just it didn't break. It just came out. I was gonna show it to you anyway. That stand is like what I've been like most excited about. I'm gonna use it to put my books in. Um, they had a bunch of them. I think three different, like, finishes on them. So, y'all, anyway, I hope you um, are having an amazing day. And I appreciate you stopping by to watch my video. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and stay. Be a part of my friends and family here on YouTube. I would love to have you. And y'all take care. Bye.